and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how to use the tiles, the links, and all the other stunts so you can start building your own creations. Without further ado, let's get to it. The first thing you use when you start building is the tile. On the top and the bottom and on the left and right hand side there are indents that you can use to connect all the tiles together. You can do it either on the side like this or you can build upwards like this and continue until you have a creation that you like. If you look closer at the tiles you notice that on either side there are small indents as well that make sure that when you connect them without really connecting them you can build a system that can collapse if you push it. By placing them on top of each other, you can build a pyramid that you can then tumble over, like this. Nice! The second main component next to the tile is using the link. You can use the links to attach them to tiles and attach tiles together, like this or like this. But you can also use these links separate by attaching them just together without any tiles in between. Like this. Then there's a wheel. You have a wheel and an axle. All you do is click them together and then you can attach them to anything you build. Making a car, for instance, drive. Next, we have the loopy loop, but before we can use it, we first have to assemble it. So there's four pieces and they all go together. You can slide them in and make sure when you do that, that the arrows on the base align with the arrows on the loop. Make sure you do this for both sides. Attach them nice and sturdy and in the middle, they connect, but make sure to use the brace so that it doesn't come apart. And then you can pull it back, put in the tile and we're good to go. And now let's take it for a spin. Next up, there's the cube. It goes both up, but also it can go sideways. Fun fact, you can move the lever any way that you need to. Now let's have a look at the splitter. It consists of the base, which can be triggered, and the hammers, and you can use the hammers. You can build them up as high as you want using tiles and links, and then when you're ready to go, you can trigger it and it can trigger multiple domino tracks. Let's have a look. Now we're going to build a zip line. All you need are two of the bases with a suction cup that you can attach to a flat surface. You need the zip line that will span across on which the tile can go down and you need a tile to send it down. So you attach it to the top side, then you attach it to the bottom side you attach the tile to the link, let it rest on there, and all that's left to do is to send it down. Like this. Finally, we have the spinner, which consists of two parts, the spinner and the base. You can use the spinner as is, but you can also make it pretty by attaching some links in different colors to create anything that you like. You can make it as crazy as you want. So how does it work? First, we have the base and we twist the X in the direction that the arrow is pointing until you hear a click. Then we get the spinner and insert it with the flat surface to the flat surface of the base, pull it back until you hear another click. Now it's all wound up and you can spin it. And here you have it. These are all the items that you can use to build your own reaction track or creation. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and comment and don't forget to use the hashtag that's a reaction. See you in the next video. Bye.